the virtual tour I did was the Tomb of Mena in the Theban Necropolis. Um, this is a tomb monument of Mena, known for uh, its wonderful color and well-preserved paintings. It was built for Mena over 3,000 years ago in Egypt's New Kingdom. Um, this was the 18th dynasty. It is located in the West Bank of Luxor in Thebes um, in southern Egypt. It is a private cemetery. Um, the style of the tomb is similar to the reign of Amenhotep III. For example, um, the skin color, the small noses in the mouth. Um, it was rediscovered by Gaston Maspera in 1886. And since 2006, it's been in a con uh, conservation project by Georgia State. And the goal of the project is to identify materials of original paint. There, um, so there's a left, right, and center of tomb. The right is the family, um, the wife, five children, two sons, and three daughters. The left is represents the career, so the overseer of fields, scribes, um, supervisory role of the pharaoh, and temple of Amun Re. Um, he wears a collar. Recognized by the king, he's elite, part of nobility. The center represents the funeral, um, funer funerary rituals, life to death. In some paintings, the priest performed the opening of the mouth so he can eat and drink and breathe in the afterlife. So the niche, um, in the niche is a statue, you know, it's the Mena and his wife, like a communication center for living to talk to the dead. Uh, most important is the weighing of the heart. The first time this is depicted, the heart is weighed against the feather in front of the god Osiris. If Mena has done good deeds and heart is light, he will pass into the afterlife. My overall impressions are that Mena is elite. Um, the paintings are have excellent colors and it's excellent art. Um, some questions I have are, I saw horses and I saw a horse's carriage. And I was wondering when horses came into play. And also, I noticed that his face was erased from his body. And I knew that in ancient Egypt, when you know the soul was a part of the painting, and so whenever you would erase someone's face, their soul will be af wiped out in the afterlife. So it's one of my questions would be, um, who wanted to destroy him and why? And um, that's my tour. Thank you.